Hey guys, welcome back to the Passive Money Plan. I'm Alex, that's Kirby. Uh, today we're going to be talking about, or the topic of today would be, what questions we would ask a billionaire if we had the chance. Hold on one second. Hold on one second, Alex. One second. It's not what questions. If you only had one question, if you're sitting down at dinner with somebody, if you're sitting down at dinner with a billionaire, or, you know, you can scale it back you know, to wherever you're at. I mean, for me, you know, for us, it would be if we were talking to a billionaire. But if you're talking to a millionaire, what would be the one question you ask them? If you only get one question, what's the one question you ask them if he was in their presence? Okay. So on this topic, I have, I don't know. So I got a question I would ask an old billionaire and one I would ask a young billionaire. So I don't know if we could do right, so start off. So yeah, yeah. So go ahead. Start off with the one you yeah. have. So an old billionaire, I would be interested in asking him um or her, you know, at that age, you know, they've achieved the billionaire status. Is it is it worth it? Like everything that I believe is worth it, you know, achieving as much success as I can in my life financially, is it worth it in the end or are there more things to life to achieve other than business? That would be my, cause they've, I would see them as they've reached the top basically. And do they feel like they've done it all or is there something that they're missing? That's, that's a good one. Uh, I'll, I always reference what, Queen Elizabeth, not the one that just passed, but the one before that passed. Uh, I always reference what she say. And I mean, you can say she's a billionaire. She's just a monarch or whatever. But her last words was, if I can give up all of my wealth just for a moment of time, I would do it. And I believe that, and and again, a billionaire will have to answer this, but I will always, and I believe that billionaires will say they had to sacrifice a lot. To get to there, they had to sacrifice a lot to get to there. Time, mainly time. And especially if you're talking about an older billionaire, they, and this is just my guess. I mean, if it's billionaires that want to comment and be like, I'm way off bases, or if it's you know, decade millionaires that want to comment and say I'm way off base. Please do. Uh, I believe they will always say they had to sacrifice a lot of time. And then when you get up there in the, you know, older ages, only thing you realize is, okay, I've reached here, but it took a lot of time to get here. And that's why I always reference time is the most valuable thing you have. It's not money. It's not net worth. It's time. What you do with your time is important. And a lot of them will reference spending more time with the family. Uh, a lot of people who, you know, went that far and sacrificed a lot, a lot of people around them don't understand that. You know, the relationship they have with their kids, the relationship they have with their spouse. I mean, most people that achieve that alternate worth, they've usually been through one or two wives. And it's because their dedication, their vision to get there, everybody's not on that same paid you know people want to do other things um but that's just what I, that's what i believe they will say but hopefully somebody chime in and tell me that um way off base no yeah those are uh those are good points i forgot the one that uh the queen had stated i forgot that statement but yeah it's just something that you know i always wanted because i know you know, obviously, as we always talk about, without financial success, you can't have the other freedoms in life. It's just fact. Um, that's the world we live in. But, you know, outside of financial freedom, outside of, you know, scaling a business, outside of buying assets and, you know, having that kind of empire to your name or whatever, is there more than just, you know, I I believe there's more, but do they feel like there's more to life than just business and wealth? You know, um, so that, yeah, that was a question I had. But if it was a younger billionaire, like I'm think I'm talking about like 
Um, I know I'm probably very young to be in a billionaire's age realm, but I know there's a couple of, like a, a couple of billionaires in the world that are um, in their 20s and then a few more in their 30s. But I would ask them, what did they do to scale so rapidly, basically? And maybe learn something that I could do to change then, you know, what I'm doing, holding myself back that they didn't do. So what, so what is your purpose of asking that question? That's what I would. Of asking the younger billionaire? So, yeah, because I, I mean, I look at it like, I think I'm on a good track, but obviously I'm not as wealthy as those individuals. So what am I doing? So basically the purpose of asking that question is to find out what I'm doing wrong to that I could tweak or change. Okay. Um, okay. I'll just leave it at that. That's a good question. That's, I mean, it's a good question in general. Um, me having, you know, um, friends that's in the alter network, it's usually, it's usually not what you're doing wrong. If you're following, you know, the same principles, how fast or how slow you get there is based on usually the people that billionaires at a young age, you know, they reach that status in their 20s, early 20s. It's because they created something. It's not based off investing. It's they created something. I mean, just think of it. Even uh, the F, the FTX guy, you know, even though it came out to this, the company end up being, you know, a farce, they created something. You know, if you go to Mark Zuckerberg, they created something. Uh, if you go to even the other lady who just got there, no CEO, they created something. Usually when to get there to scale that fast, it's you're creating a big me a mega product, usually in the tech space, to get there. And that's what it's all about creating. And um and, that, and that's just what it is. I mean, the guys that's you know reach those pinnacles and later, you know, later ages, it's you know, they invested, they was very aggressive in investing and things like that. But everybody's story is not the same. I mean, unless I mean, if you're talking to a young and I don't know any you know, young billionaire or let's say deca millionaire that that grew that fast without creating something. All is not based off investing. It's all because they created something. So if you want to get into the creator space, that's what I believe they would say. But that's that's all I got on on that action. All right. So for me, if I'm sitting down with the billionaire and I've had the privilege to sit down with uh, one that's ultra wealthy. And I and he gave me an hour of his time. And I asked him, you know, you know, weeks, months in advance. I was like, hey, is there ever a possible chance that we can sit down and just have a talk for an hour? And then he set it up. And then we talked. And we talked. And everything that we talked about of how to get to that level it's the same things that we discuss here on this channel. We talk about, you know, diversification, uh, what people think diversification is, what do people think investing is, you know, how everybody's always talking about diversification, you know, like diversifying assets and everybody think this diversifying is buying a whole bunch of stocks, buying a whole bunch of stocks, spreading your money thin. So instead of if you got, you know, $10,000, you put $100 on each stock and you're hoping something goes up and they and people believe that's investing. And he said, no, you got to look at it a different way. How about do the work, understand the company, keep doing the due diligence, doing the due diligence, doing the due diligence, and then put, keep all your powder dry and then put it on one or two investments that you believe is good and you ride them out over the long term. I mean, and that's why in the short, I said, I eat Warren Buffett. He put every dollar he had into virtual Hathaway. Um, and then other avenues he said it's always thinking of ways to create, generate income through different avenues. You diversify through different avenues. Um, I'm not going to go into the details of the conversation, but that's what it is. It's you know, you having you know maybe have a business or two that's doing that's growing in one elk, 
Then you have another business that you're doing and you're growing that. Then it's providing different streams of income. And then that income will let you invest in bigger and bigger projects. And then that's how you get there. Um, but for me today, if I was to sit down with just a random billionaire that I never met and I only had one question. If I only had one question, the question I would ask them is, is there any positions in your organization that you have available that I could be a benefit to you? That's all I would ask. Because I want them to, I want, it, I want my question, if I only got one, I want the billionaire to ask more questions. So I won't ask, hey, what can you, what can you do for me? Hey, what is this that's going to benefit me? I'm going to ask them, what can I do to benefit you? And it's a two-pronged question is because if I can get into his network, into his sphere and stratosphere, then I will be able to ask him more questions and be more close to see how he operates. Because one question won't allow me to get all the information. Just like, that's why we always talk about YouTube shorts. Everybody sees something on YouTube shorts and then they just, they hear a big word, hear some new fancy term, and then everybody just want to run off with it without doing the research. So for me, it's, Hey, I'm trying to get into that network, get into his global space to see how things is running. So now I can pick up things moving forward. If if you don't have nothing for me, it will all I believe it will always be there like, oh, because, you know, people that have, you know, a lot of money, they're always looking. People always come to them to figure out how can the billionaire help them. They rarely get a question asking, how can I help you, the billionaire? So that's the way I would approach it. Makes sense. Now, would you be looking to work for them for free? I don't care. Paid or free. I wouldn't care. I wouldn't care. Because my, my goal, the paycheck that they pay me, that's not why I'm there. I'm there for information. I'm there for knowledge. I'm there to grab things that can make my personal life better. I mean, there's no paycheck that they're going to pay me that's going to change my lifestyle. But the information that they have in the head, me seeing how their operations ran, seeing how they, you know, vertically integrate stuff, that is what's going to make me better. So I would, I would care if they pay me or not. <clears throat> okay, yeah, I like it. Going and going back to the point on the um, asking the younger billionaire, it's not so much of what him. I would like to hear their story so i can learn something from it it's not so much of like what am i failing at i don't think i'm failing um but you know what what sacrifices did they make to get to where they were because obviously sacrifices were required you know and so what i always look at it like the more people the the wealthier the person is the more pain and discomfort they endured to get to that point. So what did they go through to get there? And, you know, like I heard um, he's real popular on bigger pockets. Um, I forgot his name, but he mentioned, he was talking about another real estate investor. And he said, at this point in my life, I have millions of dollars of real estate, but and then he said the guy's name uh, has billions of dollars of real estate. They're the same age and in their 30s. And uh, he said the difference is he was more out of his comfort zone than I was. So that's kind of, you know, where I was going with that question. Okay. Makes sense. Makes sense. But with all that being said, guys, if you uh, like the video, hit the like button. Leave a comment down below. Uh, you guys have the uh, opportunity to ask a millionaire uh, what questions, you know, any any questions you might have. So leave a comment down below if you have any questions. Maybe we can make a topic on those questions and uh, subscribe, share, and we'll see you guys in the next video.